Previously on De La Plants. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to part three of building this greenhouse. And I have a good feeling about part three. I think we're going to see some major stuff happen. Possibly this is the second to last part. I'm excited. So last time I saw you, we had just finished putting up the siding or part of the siding. So on the long south wall, we have siding. We still have one more section to put up, but we couldn't finish that because we needed a little bit more U channels and H channels. And since the last time that I saw you, I chatted with my friend Jeff from Vintage Hill, who has been sort of consulting with me on this greenhouse. And he asked me if I had cemented the greenhouse down. And I said no, because in my mind I had an alternative to cementing it down and I felt that that would be just as secure. And he let me know that that's not the case. <laughs> so I discussed this in a vlog previously. If you wanna go back, I'll link it up in the cards which one it was. It was one of my day in the life vlogs. But basically I found out after that conversation that I needed to dig some holes that were three feet deep, one foot wide, so that we could put in some posts. We haven't done that yet. We have dug the holes, or started to at least, but I'm using a little auger that I attached to my hand drill, and it's been really awesome. It's by Power Planter, and I had to buy a bigger one, a longer one. This one is four feet tall, and the reason being is mine is only two feet long, so I'm only able to dig a two foot hole and I need a three foot hole. So I figured I'd just get the four foot one like just to be safe because what if I bought the three foot one and it didn't go down deep enough? That would be really annoying to have to dig like half a foot by hand even though like I'm pretty sure my, my arm is like two and a half feet long. Yeah, actually that would make sense because I'm five five. So my, my arm is probably like a little bit more than two and a half feet long. <laughs> anyway, I wouldn't be able to reach. So I bought this, I ordered it two days ago and it arrived today and I'm really excited to use it. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna dig some holes, see how far we can get. It is a little bit warm, but it is a Friday night. So I'm not trying to spend a lot of time out there. So we're just gonna go and try out this longer auger and see what I think. I was trying to figure out which would be like the coolest area to do this in the greenhouse. Oh my gosh, I'm like out of breath from walking up the hill with this. It's so heavy. I feel like this corner might be the coolest. I don't know, it's, it's a hot day. Okay, it's working. greenhouse because we are putting up the siding back here so earlier just a few minutes ago we finished putting up the long end of the siding as you can see we have the final piece it looks a little cloudy here because I cleaned it out with water because there was some stuff in it so that will dry out it might take a little bit it took these ones like a week to completely dry out but um, it's fine <laughs> It'll dry out and not be cloudy anymore. But now we're working on this side and we were actually in the middle of doing it and I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like I should be filming this because this is sort of like a big thing. So this side is the part of the greenhouse that's going to get the exhaust fan. So basically it's gonna go like up in that like larger triangle area uh, right here. And we're gonna put the siding up and then I'm gonna cut a hole in the siding for the actual exhaust fan and then frame around it so that it's not just sitting on the siding. We just cut this angle basically by marking it. Like we put the piece, the eight foot piece up flat up against the side and then I marked the lowest point and the highest point and then we just took a piece of wood, laid it straight across, touching both points and then drew a line and then cut it and it's perfect. 
or pretty close to perfect, let's say. <laughs> so yeah, we just need to do that two more times for this back wall and then two more times for the front wall and all of the siding will be up, which is super exciting. Is the camera rolling? Yep. Dan! That's going in the video. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a storm a burning. Got batting down the hatches. Call in ghost guard. Oh wait, let's get in the channel then. There you go. Yep, keep going. I don't think this is doing anything. Oh, I need to pull it out, I'm sorry. Oh, oh you just pulled all of it. I think it's in all the way. Oh, it's slightly not in all the way because this angle isn't cut, that's why. Come on. The, the H channel's falling out, I need you over here. Oh god, what are you doing? I told you it's falling. You think I was joking? Well, it's completely out, not falling out, it's out. Is that helping? No. There you go. Is that in? Yeah. All right. This needs to go. Hold the H channel. I'm gonna push down a little bit. First, I can't go up there. Well, then move it. You're jumping the gun. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Wait around for you while you're right, doing karate? I guess karate? I'm breaking my back moving this ladder. Wow, babe. Ah! Focus. Let me, let me be excited. Be excited. When we're done. <laughs> you're the Grinch. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Okay, so there's been several moments of this project where I have felt like, wow, we are really doing something. And this is one, like this back wall and this wall being completely closed in is amazing. So it just, <laughs> it's so exciting. We're finally nearing the end and the part where I'm gonna be able to like actually decorate and like make this space look really beautiful. Um, so next I need to figure out the front facing wall. Mostly I just need to figure out the door, which I did find a door secondhand um, that I thought that I would really like, but then I realized it's really small. So I might try to just like resell that door or maybe return it if I can. Um, because I really like the door opening size that it currently is. And I'd love to find a door that size, but like, I don't know if I'll be able to find that. Um, actually, I need to take measurements of it. And I don't know, I'm kind of thinking even if it is an, an extra expense, yes, yes, yes. I might still go for it, but because like we have learned that doors and like making doors and the frame and all of that, it's a lot, it's a lot. And I thought for a moment, maybe I could do that myself, but then I thought we're doing a lot ourselves, actually everything, we're doing everything ourselves. So I thought maybe we'll keep that part simplified. I don't know, but this is the door opening 
I think it's like 48 inches wide, which I like because I can fit a wheelbarrow through it. Um, so that's always nice to be able to like fit like a cart in here. I don't know if I'd want any smaller than that because I'd like to be able to fit stuff. Let's actually measure it real quick to see. Yeah, 47 and a half inches wide. And then as far as height, ah, around 84, 85 inches tall. So <laughs> I need to figure out what I want to do for that. But for sure this and this is going to be covered with the siding, the same siding as everything else. Um, and then we're going to do like a little square up there with more siding um, because we can't do obviously like a full panel right here because it's there's gonna be a door there <laughs> um, but yeah okay I just want to show you the progress I am absolutely in love so excited about this greenhouse it is really coming together you guys okay so it is a new day and I'm out here because I'm going to start building out the interior, which is really exciting. There's still more exterior stuff that needs to be done, but I really wanna do this, so I'm gonna do it. I stained these four by fours the other day, so they're stained on all four sides. placing those four by fours between the studs sort of on the seam of the siding meeting the plywood on the inside because it just looks kind of ugly and also it's going to be helpful to have that anchor point to add on the benches and like all of the bench stuff so yeah we're gonna do that I need to cut them all into smaller pieces because obviously I have like a bunch of eight foot boards so they need to be cut smaller so that they fit between the studs um, and we're going to screw them in and that's going to be it. So it's going to be a lot of cutting and drilling today. Okay, my friends, so a combination of things happened yesterday. My camera died and I think it in some way overheated because it was very hot out here. And so I have to show you the end result and not so much the in-between result. So sorry about that, but it looks so good. This one I couldn't do. I mean, I probably could have if I just removed this piece of wood here. We have some extra wood pieces just sort of around on the base because sometimes the siding um, didn't line up on a stud. And so you have to have like an extra support to have something to screw it in so it's not flopping around. So this one's just a little long and we obviously did not think about that when we were installing it because we didn't even, <laughs> we weren't even at this stage yet. So I'm gonna have to remove it and like trim it shorter. And that's just like a thing I did not wanna worry about yesterday. But everything else is done and it looks really good. I feel like it just buttons up the interior really nicely and that is going to be mostly covered by the bench. I was also, yesterday after I finished, I was sort of looking at this and how I would want to structure the bench 
And I'm thinking, I don't know if I want the back wall to even have a bench because I was thinking if I have really tall plants, I don't want them to have to sit on top of this because the bench is gonna be about this height, like where this is. So I feel like I'm gonna need floor space as well. So I'm kind of rethinking the bench situation. Like I was actually gonna do that this week, but I think I need to rethink it and just like, I don't know, imagine what I wanna do for that. There is also the possibility of this entire wall, like, you know, I could leave gaps or whatever. I also wanted to have a sink in here, uh, mainly just for show because <laughs> surely I could figure out some sort of like camping sink situation, but because we don't have a water line up here and I don't really have interest in putting in a water line up here, I don't know how that would work out putting a sink in here. But I am gonna be having like water tanks and stuff that collect rainwater off of the roof. Um, but anyway, I'm feeling not very good today. I have a migraine and I don't exactly know what it's from, but it's in my eyes. So I think it's just from looking at screens a lot yesterday. I was doing a lot of editing. So uh, the show must go on though. Like we do need to be continuing to work and today would be like a really good day to just not, <laughs> but um, I have to push through and do at least a little something. So I think today I'm either going to figure out the end of the roof over here or start installing the clear panels up at the top of the north wall because I did decide that I want this to have clear panels because it's been open since the start of this greenhouse and I just really like the way it looks. Like it's not gonna be bringing in any amount of extra light. Okay, maybe like a little bit just because it's open, but like it's not super beneficial because it's north light, so it's not gonna be significant like this side would. Um, so yeah, I just caught this in the viewfinder and it looks so good. You guys, it just looks amazing. It looks done, honestly. It's a building, it's a finished building. <laughs> Anyway, um, I need one of those like migraine caps, you know? Oh my god. Okay, I'm not gonna complain about my migraine. I used to get these all the time. Okay, look at me continuing to talk about my migraine. <laughs> I used to get a migraine like this like probably two, three times a week when I was working at my old job because I was like glued to a computer all day. <sighs> and so I don't have to deal with this too often anymore. So it just feels really bad if I ever have to, you know? <laughs> okay, we need to do the the end of the roof over there. So basically, let me explain the situation. On the other side of the roof, it hangs off about three inches. And on this side of the roof, the panels weren't long enough. Like in the end, like the panels didn't end up being long enough. So it's not enough to get like another full 10 foot piece of polycarbonate, which I did consider doing, but 90% of it will be wasted because I'm literally only gonna be using like six inches of it it's just not ideal for a roof construction so we're just going to have to hope for the best and use like you know i have the silicone caulking we're going to be caulking the roof and the siding relatively soon like definitely before winter like fully sets in so that this greenhouse is airtight um, because once we put the heater in i really want to make sure that it's very efficient and i'm not wasting i'm going to stop talking now <laughs> just enjoy <laughs> a lot better because my pain medication finally set in so I no longer have a migraine it's either the pain medication set in or now I'm distracted and I'm not even noticing anyway I finished the top here and that side has three no no two joints on it so it's eight foot eight foot two feet so this is a ten foot side this one's only six feet so there's only one little joint right here and we're just gonna seal it up with some RTV or the silicone caulking just on either side of this and it should be fine We will have to see but I was mentioning that it's really hard to keep it completely straight Like once you go off track, it's really hard to fix it So I'm probably just gonna cap this with a u-channel just to like make it look finished But other than that This is done 
and I feel like I still have a lot of steam. So I'm going to do what I can to do the North Peekaboo section because this has been nice to like get stuff done. Sometimes you guys know like cuteness aggression with your dogs or your animals or babies. I get like cuteness aggression for the greenhouse. Like I get like excited aggression. <laughs> Because it's so beautiful. I'm so happy with it. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's assemble the peekaboo wall. got into a groove and forgot to grab the camera. I filmed this section on my phone for TikTok because I wanted to show how to put together these pieces because it's a smaller version of like a big one and I could do it by myself so it was really easy to share the process. So it's done and it's really cute. I love it. I'm super excited that we have a third wall completely covered up and now we need to do the fourth wall i have three of these panels left and then one four foot panel that i just haven't used because i got stain all over it because i'm silly and um i've been using like for the hangover that i did over here i ended up using just part of one four foot section here, just little strips of it. I'd say it was a very productive day out here. I honestly spent like most of the day on the greenhouse, which I don't usually do, but it was like 90 degrees today, but it really didn't feel that bad because it was cloudy most of the day. I'm pretty good at handling the heat. <laughs> it's the direct sun that really gets to me, which right now is like direct sun. Um, so yeah, wow, we are making progress, you guys. <laughs> Next time you see me, I will be either digging a trench or putting up this wall and I will see you there. Okay, we are trenching today. As you can see, we have a trencher in a trailer and I've got spray paint and I'm going to spray a path, but we are doing a big trench today. The trench needs to be like two feet deep and like 140 feet long. I have no idea how this is going to go. <laughs> Either really well and smooth or I'm not even gonna put the alternative in the universe. It's gonna go really well and smooth. I just have a feeling. So that's today, let's do this. So I've been pulling this ditch witch all day and finally I got to the part where I'm next to the building and Wait. it hasn't been that hard to do it. I should probably step out of the picture. <laughs> You're willing to make it look like I did it? You can do you can say you did some. <laughs> this is a joke, I'm not actually like, I was joking. I was going to see if you'd get upset. Oh, that's really no. nice. I, I, said you did so. I didn't, though. 
So Daniel is almost done. We're getting to the part next to the house. We're trying to figure out how close or like what direction we need to go. If we need to be closer towards those pipes or closer this way. Not really sure. So we're going to see if we can get a hold of the electrician. Anyway, look how long this is. It's crazy. So while he's been doing this, I've been working on some other miscellaneous greenhouse stuff. Really nothing super exciting or worth filming. <laughs> so I will go over it just really quickly with you. First of all, the overhang on this side of the building was done incorrectly by yours truly. So I fixed that by cutting these rafters a little bit shorter because the overhang of the siding or of the, the roof wasn't going to be long enough basically. And then I trimmed up the bottom of this window section because I made it too long and I thought I could get away with it, but I don't really think I can. So I trimmed that up really quickly and I put new tape on it. Honestly, I think that's taken up pretty much all of my time. A little sperm? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and head inside and eat my pizza. You got a pizza? Did you get one for me? Yeah, I can do it yourself. Okay. <laughs> here is what that wall looks like in daylight it looks so good I'm really glad that I finally did this it was really the one thing I was like I really don't feel like I should do this there's more important things to do but the siding was looking pretty bad so I'm glad that I did actually do it we are moving on to phase two of electricity I'm going to be putting all of the PVC piping down so pretty much how we did this is we had an electrician come out, tell us everything we needed to buy. Um, so he actually ordered everything for us from a local electric place, electric supply company. And then he is going to be coming on Tuesday to make the final connections. So pretty much before he comes, we have to lay down the PVC and then um, just like have the electric box ready to go for installation. So he's going to be doing all of that. So we've done like the hard work if you will and well his work is also what, what he's doing is also hard but just um let's actually say we've done the back breaking work <laughs> so like with most things in this entire greenhouse building process i am doing something today that i've never done before i'm going to be cementing together some pvc pipes with this pvc cement it's medium body plastic pipe cement low voc 
clear PVC. I don't know how this is low VOC because it smells so, so bad. Not that you're like inhaling it on purpose, but it smells terrible. So anyway, you basically have this little round brush. Oh shoot. <gasps> it's like acetone on drugs. Anyway, you just like wow, wow this around. <laughs> You rub this around the pipes like on the inside of one on the outside of the other where the joint is and then you just like You twist it and then that will activate the cement or like the adhesive and like melt it together Something like that. So I am wearing gloves because this is a bit of a, an intense thing so I'm going to assemble all of the pipes outside of the trench and then just sort of plop it in there and hope for the best so let's do this electricity to the greenhouse and today has been <laughs> just a real whirlwind I did not realize that the electrician was gonna come at 10 I thought he was coming at 11:30, and I didn't have everything together that I needed to have together so I was kind of very stressed out and did not get to film and also I think it might have been a little strange to film while he was here but I did get a few like iPhone clips so I'm gonna play those as I'm explaining what happened we connected a 90 degree piece of piping to come up on the house and on the back side of the greenhouse. So you can see here we have an electrical panel. This is an exterior electrical panel because this area, I mean the greenhouse is not going to be dry, right? It's a greenhouse. <laughs> I don't really know how any of this works, but I was trying to observe and learn from the guy um, but a lot of the time I was just angry at myself because I was not prepared like I wanted to be and should have been Anyway, so while he was finishing up all of the connections we put all of the soil back onto the Trench so we closed up the trench and it sort of mounded up uh, But that's just because when the soil settles it will flatten out and my beautiful primed wall with this the electricity comes up from the ground and it winds up here. He did say that I could paint this, but I don't know if I will or not. Yeah, now we just have the work of finishing up filling in the ditch. We need to close in the front wall. And once that is closed in, we're going to install the heater and the cooler. Well, not the cooler, the, um, <laughs> the heater and the fan, the big exhaust fan that will move the air around. So we're gonna get that all set up. And once that is done, I'm gonna give him a call again and he's gonna come out and install all of the plugs and everything else. But he said that we have to have everything mounted so that he knows where to run the wires. So that would just be like another house call. So all in all, I do think that we have saved quite a bit of money when it came to this project by doing it this way, like doing a lot of the work ourselves. And technically we could run the wires in the green 
greenhouse ourselves but we just want it done by a professional because who knows if like code has changed from the last time daniel did it and we just want to be as safe as possible and not have any sort of like electrical fire or have it like not go correctly and then have to hire him to come out anyway so yeah hopefully that won't be too difficult to get all of the heating and cooling installed and the fans but we do need to finish up the front wall before we can really look into that because those things can't like get rained on so you guys i think that's going to be the end of this video i really want to have the heating and cooling like the ventilation and all of that and the benches and the final touches all in its own video because i imagine that this one is getting pretty long and this seems like a pretty natural stopping point so i will see you guys in the next part where all of that happens i'm so excited we are almost done and i'm really hoping by the end of October. October we will be done. I I feel like every time I say a timeline I jinx myself So I kind of regret saying that but at the same time it might help me like be motivated to like get things done So let's hope by the end of October This is finished because I have plants that I need to put in here because they're not gonna fit in my house And I need somewhere to put them so <laughs> Keep your fingers crossed for me that this is able to be finished by the end of October. We're manifesting. Okay, everybody needs to like say that out loud. We're gonna finish the greenhouse by the end of October, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this series. If you have any questions about anything I did in this video today, you can leave them in the comments down below and I will answer them as best I can. And also I really wanna do a greenhouse Q&A when this is all finished. Okay, thank you so much for watching, bye.